Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody, and welcome to All Saints for our service of lessons and carols. We'll be starting in two, three minutes, but before we start, I need to inform everybody, uh, everybody is sitting in this area, apart from Julie and her daughter, but anybody sitting here, there's a chance you'll be included in the live stream, and choir, you will be the stars of our live stream. If there is anybody who doesn't wish to appear in the live stream, if you move over there, we'll even switch on a heater for you. Uh, but if, if you stay here, then we assume you don't mind. It'll be, for the congregation, it'll mainly be back of the heads. And all readers, you will be included in the live stream. I think I made that clear to you when you kindly uh, accepted my arm-twisting invitation to read. So if we just um, relax for a couple of minutes, and then our service will begin. I greet you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Everybody uh, will be able to see the order of service on the screen. So um, in a moment we will pray and conclude the prayers with the Lord's Prayer. From that point on, I will come and sit with Father Thomas John and Father Thomas John I welcome you to our carol service. Last week, people from All Saints attended the Mar Sinai Maitoma carol service. Father uh, Thomas John, thank you for re uh, returning and visiting ours. Thank you. Let us pray. We are here this evening as the family of God in our Father's presence. And we celebrate the great festival of Christmas. Lord, in this service we hear and receive the good news of the birth of your Son and we offer to you our thanksgiving in the joyful singing of carols. And as we gather together in the name of your Son, our Saviour, we pray for the world he came to save. We pray for your church that it may be enabled in our generation to surrender anew to God's holy wisdom and bear the good news of God's love 
to a needy world. We pray for the world which is already yours, that all its people may recognize their responsibility for its future and may be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom and peace everywhere. We pray for all those with special needs, for the sick, the anxious, the lonely, the fearful and the bereaved, that the peace and light of the Christ child may bring hope and healing to all who sit in darkness. And now we commend all those who we love and all those who have asked for our prayers to the unfailing mercy of our Heavenly Father and we say together the prayer that our Saviour taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now the choir will sing the first verse of Once in Royal David City, and then we will stand and join the singing of the other verses. People who walked in darkness 
have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. prophecy of the Messiah's kingdom of peace. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. With righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meat of the earth. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling calf together and the little child shall lead them. 
The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. This is the word of the Lord. Church of England Christmas video. The blonde young lady who became the more mature white-haired lady, the little bit that we teased you with, started life as a very beautiful uh, blonde baby and came through baptism and confirmation and marriage to the gentleman. The idea is, of course, that throughout our life, wherever we are on life's journey, God is with us. 
And so I commend it to you and choir, you actually didn't miss it all. So yeah, it's a Church of England official Christmas video. Sarah. The angel visits Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is the word of the Lord.
the shepherds go to the manger. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in a band of cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heaven, host gathering praise the Lord and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those who whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see the thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We may actually have to ask you to reprise that, Nick, because the baby has not been born quite yet. So, <laughs> so, so uh, Dave is dashing down now to, we have a choir piece, and then the baby will be born, and then we'll get back on track.
The Birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The shepherds go to the manger. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I bring you good news of great joy, and for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands in the cloth and lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heaven, host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing as has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. This is the word of the Lord. Thank be to God.
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least amongst the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the word of the Lord.
The incarnation of the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him, not not one thing came into being. What has come into being? In Him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to light, the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to the what he was in the world, and he has owned the people and did not accept him, but to all receive him who believe in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of the man, but of the word. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's glory, only son, full of grace and truth. This is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as we joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All honour and glory be yours always and everywhere, mighty creator, every living God. We give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who for love of our fallen people humbled himself and was born of a virgin by the power of your spirit and lived as one of us. In this mystery of the word made flesh, you have caused his light to shine in our hearts, to give knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ. In him, we see our God made visible and so are caught up in the love of the God we cannot see. And so we give you thanks and pray that at this Christmas time your peace may rest upon us, your light may shine through us. And as we worship you, joy may fill our hearts. These prayers we ask in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
quite on a par with the Vicar of Dibley, but we <laughs> gave it a pretty good run. Choir, thank you for your wonderful leading of our singing and our worship. And poor Teb, I think he's suffering from jet lag all those trips up and down the stairs. A uh, few oh. lessons in my head learned for next year. One of them will be to put the, the, the carol songs up together so that poor Dave doesn't have to zip up and down every time. Thank you for being here, everybody. Uh, there will be mince pies and there's mulled wine and other refreshments. Please do stay and come over to this corner and share some fellowship as we end our worship. I thank you all for being here and collectively, because I can see you all, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And now, may the peace and the grace and the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with those of you who are here and with your loved ones, wherever they may be, this evening and always. Amen. Amen. When you go, go in peace, love and serve the Lord, in the name of Christ. Amen.